guys so i wanted to um share the togo side with you remember i showed you the coast of keta how the sea is okay? i am here at the side of togo and i want to share i want to show you what i'm talking about uh i want to show you how serious this is uh because this where i'm standing here people used to have to get you know ride to go to the beach but we are standing in in the middle of somebody's bedroom or somebody's kitchen um somebody's house so it is a serious problem that is happening climate change situation it is terrible and we just need to take think about it i don't know what we need to do i don't know how we can you know take you know hold the sea look it's always getting to me and i don't want to get wet this time um so i'm gonna flip you for you to just see what i'm talking about um this is the low mesa so you guys saw the Keta side, the, the coast. This is Lome, this is Avepozo. I want you to look at these stones. The, the, you know, these are somebody right there, that house over there, they were able to afford to bring, to, come, to, to protect their place. Look at how pretty. Because you can see that it's way in, in the water, right? But that is somebody who's able to, somebody who can afford to do that. So now, and I don't know how long that will hold. Now come this way. They're having a wedding um, by the house next door here. So that's why you see these visitors, they're taking advantage. But so look at these houses behind that, those ladies and come here. And look in here where I'm standing right here. I'm standing in somebody's living room, somebody's kitchen, somebody's, you know, bedroom. These are houses that the sea has eaten away. Just look. These are houses. We are, I'm standing in the middle of houses, of somebody's house, a lot of houses. Look at it. And this boy here, that's a well that he's holding and it's normally in the middle of a house. Look, the water just got me and I just got showered. I was going out. Shoo. So that's why I'm telling you, this is crazy. <laughs> I do not want to get wet today. I really do not want to get wet today. But so look at the, I just want to, let's go back to what I'm trying to share with you. So we have those walls, but how much can that wall hold? Because the water is already here. Look at those houses there. They used to be houses. This used to be in the middle of neighborhood. You see what I'm talking about? In the middle of neighborhoods. Now look. Look at the sea. Somebody has those uh, stones and, and over there too. So it's protecting that side. You can see that the water's not getting wet. For how long? How long can that hold? Everything else will go away and then it's going to have that little piece left. Um, so when I'm saying that this is serious climate change, we are talking about in Europe, in developed countries, but it is killing us in Africa as well. So I am standing, literally standing in the middle of somebody's house and it is a beach now. You know, so it used to be, people used to have to take a ride to drive and take a taxi or take a motorcycle just to go to the beach. The same people, the same place, people who leave this house and go to the beach. Their house is becoming a beach now. The neighborhood, the streets are becoming a beach. Maybe where that um, boat is, that's where the road to that used to be. It is buried in the sea today. So I, I, I just wanted to share this with you guys. You know, I don't know what we can do, but we really need to be thinking about what do we need to do? All these people in Ghana, we realize that when this happened, they kind of, the government moved some people, you know, to the north a little bit and, and taking care of, you know, having, giving them houses for them to live in. Uh, but, you know, how far can we move? <laughs> how far can we move? So, um, whoever and whatever, you know, we need to start thinking about what we need to do with these situations. It's, it is not, it is not funny and it is not, you know, it is not something that we need to just say that, 
well people talk about climate change we hear about it and we let go people are really suffering here it is really taking and it is not here when we have insurance and insurance can take part of it or help you it is not it in africa you know the sea is eating up our cities look i am standing here you know i i it, it just amazes me it amazes me to know that this was somebody's living room somebody's house this was a street you know, the street used to be all the way there. The road used to be all the way there. And we can't see it anymore. Houses are buried in here. So, uh, guys, I wanted to... If you're looking at these, you can see the stones and the bricks. This person was able to afford it. I don't know, maybe it's the government, uh, but it is they are building something here, as you can see. So they are able to afford, they are able to afford uh, the bricks, the stones, and you see how far it is. So the water for now is not getting close to it, right? But, you know, look at the rest of <laughs> the rest of the people. And look at this, this is the construction here going on. Right here, look. There's a construction going on. That's the water coming already. If just, just imagine. You know, I don't know how long this is gonna take, honestly. I do not know how long this is gonna take. I do not know if this person is even going to continue to finish building this place because what is, I mean, what is the point? What is the point to spend money to do this when, <laughs> I mean, few years, maybe a few months, God forbid, it's going to be buried in the sea. You know what I mean? So this is, this is, this is, um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but please, we, we, I, I, I am afraid that, you know, a uh, few years, Togo, there will be no more Togo. There will just be the sea. Togo will become a sea. So, um, let's, let's start thinking about what we need let's start putting our heads together about these countries not just Togo but Ghana you know in Ghana so we you guys saw the Kita and you guys in Benin you know these coast we have to figure out these countries in the, in the coast we have to figure out what to do about it so guys stay safe and blessed I wanted to make sure that I share this side the Togo side with you as well um so you know guys share let's share this information let's put our head together, try to figure out what do we need to do? How do we need to take care of our community? How do we, what do we need to do to stop? I don't know what we need to do. What do we need to do to preserve? I don't know if there's a way to stop a sea, like I said, you know, mother nature, but uh, we have to do something to help. We have to think about something. We have to figure out, first of all, Togo, it is very, very small. Now, I don't know how long this country is going to stay. I don't know how long the city is going to stand because it is small to begin with. Where are we gonna go? We're gonna, maybe you're gonna go to Burkina. Where are we gonna, the people are gonna start moving to the north. The north is, I, I don't know, we don't even have, see? I, we don't even have enough space in the north. So what is Togo going to, is Togo going to be here in 2050, for example? Are we still gonna have this country? Are we still gonna have the Keta? region i don't know so it is when i see this it just scares me uh it scares me it worries me um and i know god in, is in control but uh let's let, let let's let's think about this let's figure out what we need to do and start planning because it is coming fast it is very 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 fast please i want you guys to share this video share it with everyone that you know stay safe and blessed and i'll see you on the next one